Hi, this is Tanya from Love Buddha Tarot, back with the card of today for the 8th of August 2016. Um, I hope you all had a lovely weekend. I don't know if you have been feeling what is going on. This, this weekend has been so crazy. Last week was crazy. The weekend's been crazy. Um, there's so many things making sense but making no sense it's it, it it's just really really bizarre a lot of synchronicities I've had this weekend bumping into certain people and, and things like that it's 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 been great but then what I forgot as well is today we are on the 8th of the 8th aren't we so this is you know I mentioned last week a lot about Leo um and the new moon being in Leo but we have what is called the lion's gateway today and this is a time during Leo on the 8th of the 8th. 8th is a very uh, very very important number you know it links the it links the human existence with the spiritual existence you know if you think of it it's the infinity symbol you know if you turn it on its side very very important and when when we are when it's around and especially sort of today and sort of the next eight days coming up um, it's sort of, they say that it opens a portal, you know, a portal to abundance, prosperity, happiness, dreams fulfilled. And it's about, are you going to step into that portal and get your heart's desire? So that is the, the general astrological feel of today. So today's cards, like I say, you know, they, they, they never fail to surprise me. There's been a couple of times this weekend when I've actually laughed out loud because of some of the stuff that the universe has, has been doing, you know. And I'm speaking to a lot of people who are getting in touch with me. Um, you know, thank you for all of your messages that you've been sending because a lot of people I really felt could relate to the cards last week, you know, so there was a lot of messages. Thank you. I hope I did answer your questions when, um, you know, I messaged back as well. Um, but people coming up to me this weekend going, what's going on? Can you feel something strange? So it, it everybody's feeling it. Nobody's really understanding it, but you know, it's, it's there. There's, there's, there's something going on at the minute, you know? I always said the first part of this year was the clearing. It, it's getting better, you know. When we look at the age of Aquarius and things like that, this is this is all making sense, you know. So just <coughs> hold on um, and enjoy the ride, really. I think that's that's all you can do here. Uh, right, okay, so today's cards. Um, I pulled a tarot card today, but then I was told to pull an Osho card as well. So we have two different cards, two different two different decks, um, but I think they complement each other really nicely. The first card that we have from the tarot, uh, this is the Golden Tarot by uh, Cat Black. Absolutely beautiful. Well, you know, one of my oldest decks, this. I really, really love this one. So the card that we have here is the chariot, okay? Now, the chariot is always a high energy card as well, but it's a card that is so full of contradictions. This card is urging you and begging you really to take back your control, take back your personal power and set off in pursuit of your goals. You know, if only it was that easy. <laughs> um, there, there are things needed need to be done, I think, at the moment. Um, First of all, get clear on exactly what it is that you want, you know, know that you have the ability to get there, but it, it's going to take a little little time, you know. When this card comes in, it's like you are enduring uh, an internal struggle at the moment, you know, as well as possible external ones as well. But it's like feeling drawn in two directions. I mean, if we have a look here in this card, you know, she's on the chariot, there's, there's the white swan, there's the black swan but she's not moving. There's there's no movement here because there's this indecision, you know. Um, so, like I say, you know, this this is there's internal struggles here. There's external struggles as well. Uh, there's quite a lot of doubt and uncertainty, I feel, is coming in as well, you know, and this is stopping you from making this decision and from actually steering this chariot in the road that you want to go down. What this card is saying now is you need to make a decision. You need to act. I think we said last week there was all about decisive action or something. But what this is saying is take control of your life. 
take back your reins, you know. Nobody else can control your life, only you. But you need to do this because otherwise inaction is causing this stagnancy. And, you know, everything's just going around in your head and nothing is sort of coming to a conclusion. Um, so what this card is urging you to do is dig your heels in, you know, and head off in the direction of your destiny. Movement is needed here, you know. Now, with any journey, you know, it's 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 not going to be an easy path, you know. There will be a few bumps, a few stones on the road, you know, but you must have unwavering faith in your convictions and don't stop or give up now. You know, this is going to be so worth it. You know, it, it's it's like I say, whenever I see this card, I always think of old chariots um, with wooden wheels, you know, and they weren't very comfortable, but you got to where you wanted to go, you know, and, and that that's it. It's not, you know, it, it, nothing that's worth it is easy, right? Okay. So, this card is telling you, be brave, you know, you are entering unknown territory as well, but remember that you are in control here, this is the beautiful thing about this card, you have taken back your control, you have taken back your power, you know, think of your solar plexus, now th this, this lion's gateway, you know, this moon in Leo, is all about giving strength to our solar plexus as well, which is our personal uh, power centre. Um, I've checked in a couple of times this weekend and I'm like, yeah, it's cool. You know, everything else might be going crazy, but yeah, my solar plexus is, you know, it, it, it's my pal. It's working, it's working fine, you know. So <clears throat> this is saying, you know, it might be unknown territory that you're going in, but you are in control now. You're finally steering yourself in the direction of your choosing here. And if you can keep your eye on the horizon and not de detour back, you know, or allow doubt to sway you off course here, you know, you will get to your desired and destined um, destination, you know, you will get where you, where you need to be, you know, but it's actually keeping your eye on the horizon, you know, not looking back, not, you know, being swayed, you know, off your, off your path. So when this card comes in as well, it's, it's, it's like, it talks about traveling and I, I, you know, I don't feel this is traveling in the sense of, you know, going on holiday or something like that. It could be, you know, it could be because it often is. But, you know, the way I read the cards, I always read the cards more emotionally than, than anything like that. But what this is saying is often when we, when we travel or when we go on a journey, you know, um, we... We take too much with us, you know, we, 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 we pack everything and think, all oh, right, right, okay, I need this, I need this, I need this, and we don't, you know, I've mentioned before, I once took a really, really heavy backpack away when I was, I was backpacking, and I had to send all of the stuff home because, you know, it was weighing me down, everything I needed was where I got there, I mean, I, you know, it doesn't matter how remote you are in the world, you are always going to find somewhere that has toothpaste, that has soap, that has water and that has food. You know, that's pretty much all that you need. So for this journey, it's saying leave some of your baggage at the roadside, you know, lessen your load and this will simplify your life. You know, once you do this, once you, you don't even pack this stuff with you, you decide what you're taking with you, you know, and then set out on your journey. And this is, this is when you can engage on, on the road ahead, you know. Um, whenever this card comes in, so you will have heard this before, but whenever this card comes in, I always do get um, taken to the uh, Jack Kurak book on the road, you know, um, and there's a quote in that where he says, I was surprised as always as how easy the act of leaving was and how good it felt. The world was suddenly rich with possibility. Now, this is a brilliant book, absolutely be beautiful book, and it represents a journey to freedom and a journey to liberty, you know, and what this card is saying is the road is there waiting for you, so please use every ounce of the, determin the determination that you have, you know, to get in the driving seat of your life, put your foot down on the accelerator, because it's time where movement is needed, you know. It's just making this decision, deciding which way you're going to go, and then putting your foot down, putting your foot on the gas, you know, and going after it, you know. So it's like I say, 
decision time, you know, that is it. Movement is needed, otherwise the stagnation is 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 there, you know. As I said, are you going to put your foot through the portal of the Lion's Gate, you know, because it's only open for a, a, a short time. Like I say, it's, it's you know, it's there. It's sort of, are we going to go into the vortex sort of thing? So that is a lovely card. I really, really like the, the chariot card. You know, there's, there's, although there might be confusion with it and contradictions, it doesn't seem a really, there's not really a manic, manic feel about that, you know. But then, like I say, I was called to pull one of the Osho cards. Now, I love Osho, you know, they're not, traditional tarot but they do they, they, they're very they're very blunt and they're very they have hold very strong messages as well so um this card is when i'm looking at this it's it's absolutely beautiful it's so sweet isn't it you know and if we look at the contrasts that are in this 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 card you know um it's it's quite bizarre we have this really fragile little flower, <clears throat> okay, and it's growing out of this hard, restricting rock, you know. So despite its hostile environment, this this is just pushing through and pushing through. Basically, it looks like without effort as well, you know. It's just doing what it's meant to, and that is that is how how it's grown, you know. Um, so this started, this was like a tiny seed, you know, and look at it now, you know, the process is, is it's, it's growing, you know, and it, it, it's beautiful. But the second it started growing, this was when the fight started, you know, there was the struggle with the soil, there was a struggle with the stones, there was, you know, and the rocks around it. So what this is saying is this little flower has been courageous enough to live its life like authentically to live its life how it was meant to you know the rocks the stones which are stronger which are harder which are whatever have tried to stop it but it's just persevered you know and it, it has been it's like it's I don't know it, it's come to fruition it's blooming that that's that's the word that I think is coming in with this so when we choose to do this within life obviously this is a metaphor you know that that Osho used but when we choose to do this in life and when we choose to push ahead and live authentically, this can catapult those around us out of their comfort zone. Instantly, they don't like it, you know. The changes we endure and the changes we start showing um, force other people to address situations that they would be happy to be blind from. You know, they would happy to just not think about and, you know, blinkers on and just carry on, you know. So what this happens is once you present them with this, then fear comes in within them. Their status quo is being upset in some way, you know, and this usually results in either attack, criticism, or refusing to believe, you know, this is it. They'll either dismiss whatever you're saying, you know, they will put you down for it, or they will just, you know, they, they, they will just attack you in a way that, that is not cool. Um... But once you have started on this path, it's like you can't go back. He kind of go back and ungrow, you know. It would be so easy. I was talking to um, a most beautiful, beautiful, beautiful soul yesterday. Um, a young boy, my, my friend's son. And he's been living in Peru and he's going back and he's opening a healing house. And he's such a beautiful soul. My friend that was with me yesterday when we met him had never met him before. And she was like, I just can't stop looking at him. He's just... He's just magic, and he is such a beautiful, beautiful human being. And he said to me yesterday, once you've opened your eyes, Tanya, then you can't unsee, you know? And he was talking about how he struggles to fit in when he comes back to the Western society. But beautiful, beautiful time, you know? I absolutely, I, I adore that boy. He's my little soul son, I think. Um, but yeah, sorry, I've gone completely off tangent there. But it was, it was you know, this is what he's, once you've, your eyes are opened, you cannot go back and be blind. And this is what, this has happened. Once you have started growing, you cannot, you cannot ungrow, you know. And why would you want to, you know, because like I say, there's, you know, this growth, it's took a lot to get you here and it, it's worth it. It's a good place to be, you know. Um, so the ultimate mission of this flower and the ultimate mission of us, you know, you, whatever, you know, is to head towards the light. 
head towards the daylight and nothing is going to stop that you know you may try and hold your back self back yourself but this is a progression you know the daylight always comes and we cannot help but see it this card also holds a little bit of hope and a little bit of magic as well in it you know and it urges you to be persistent you know there's hope for all of us but all we need to do is find this courage to grow as well when we are faced with a difficult situation we have a choice <clears throat> you know and this is it we can blame stuff you know we can sit and make excuses and say we can't move forward because of this because of that because of blah 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 uh, or we can just do nothing and let ourselves be held back so you know that this is what we we we're faced with or there is another option and the other option is we can face this challenge and we can grow you know so this flower has shown us the way you know it, it, it it's got a passion for life you know and it will lead you out of the darkness and into the light again you know it's like always follow the light um there's no point in fighting this challenge neither you know because the more we resist something, the more it persists, you know, it, it's not going to change um, and changes are needed, you know, if we, it's like, if we carry on doing what we've always done, we'll always get what we always got, you know, um, there's also the, the Einstein quote, you know, that if you carry on doing the same thing again, you know, like making a mistake is, is not the sign of insanity, but doing the same thing again and expecting a different result is, you know. So there's a lot with this where it's like it's about pushing forward as well, you know. And if you need, want to be this flower, if you want to bloom, if you want to do this, then, you know, you must go through these, these stages. And this card is saying that you have the courage to do that, you know, despite any hardness, despite these rocks, despite anything like that, that is will try and hold you back or that you have to struggle to to get through now like i say i've mentioned the solar plexus and there's a lot of yellow i mean lovely lovely aura coming around here um and you know this is this is about our personal power center and it's about taking back our power as well you know it's a beautiful beautiful thing when you can do that because this shows that you are ready to live authentically this shows that you believe in yourself you know, more than you believe in your fears or your doubts, you know, so it, 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 it's a really, really, it, it, it's beautiful, this. We also have this card is emitting a lovely, lovely green as well, you know, and the green is our heart chakra, and this is urging us to keep our heart open, you know, it's too easy to close our heart off, you know, when we've experienced pain, or even in a form of protection as well, but by keeping our hearts open, I've mentioned this before, we actually heal ourselves, you know, and we heal the situation that is causing pain. So this card is a lot, again, like we talked about last week, a lot of like self-love, you know, and about love being our strongest force as well. You know, to get love, we need to give it. And this is also to ourselves, you know, as well as the other people that we meet on, on our journey. Love is what makes us strong. And with love and courage in our hearts, which this card is saying, showing, um, this is when you can conquer anything, you know. So the, the messages were so very similar with them two cards today. So I really feel it's like it's decision time. It's deciding it. There is a call to be brave at the moment. But, you know, you have that lion roar. You have... We all have this around us at the moment and it's like, you know, this is it. We we have the strength, you know, like I say, the eight, um, eighth of the eighth today, you know, the infinity symbol is what is actually um, the strength card within tarot and this strength card is number eight as well, you know, so there's... There's a lot of things here going for you, you know, you've, you've got, you've got a lot of backup, you know, the universe has made sure that you've got, you know, you've got backup there, um, and like I say, it's about just having the courage to be authentic and go in the direction that you want to go, but movement is needed because at the moment it's just, it's like your brakes jammed on, you know, so get up, get a brake off, get your foot on the accelerator and off you go. So I hope you enjoyed those cards, you know, really, really nice ones. I was, like I say, I was looking forward to, I was intrigued actually to see what this week would bring because, like I say, some crazy conversations this weekend with, with, um, 
with people I've bumped into, you know, and so a lot of answers as well. That, that's the thing. It's like suddenly what I sort of seen it as is like, you know, when you have a jigsaw and there's all these pieces missing and you're looking at it and you can't even see what it's meant to be. And it's like somebody's just came along with, you know, all right, I've found these. And there's like a load of pieces that you thought were missing and they're all starting to fit in as well. So things are, you know, things are starting to, to reveal in some way. So it's like, sorry, they've just shown me there like a dark room, you know, things are starting to develop. Right. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to go now. I have loads to do because I'm away tomorrow. Um, I have <clears throat> about two spaces of availability for readings later on today. That is it. You know, it's going to be it for about a week probably. So if you would like them, please get in touch as soon as possible because, you know, they, they probably will go pretty quickly. Um, but I will be back tomorrow with the card of today and then before my break. Okay, so have a fabulous day. Please share these videos if you like them. And thank you again to everybody for the messages that I got over the weekend, uh, the readings I've done as well. You know, I'm pleased that they helped you. So I'll see you tomorrow with the card of today. Satnam.